Tonight, Dateline BSC TV investigates Blue Shield's personal journey to health and wellness. Faced with the daunting prospect of continued growth and many important projects, could this company take a dose of its own medicine and get healthy? Wellness is really directed at a much bigger population uh, of working people and, uh, and otherwise healthy people to try to keep them from becoming ill. Well, I think we have some companies that, that do this well, uh, but they're, they're top secret, so if I told you, I'd have to kill you. Uh, getting healthy and staying healthy. Uh, it's important to our own lives and the quality of our lives. It's also important to the uh, cost of health care. Now join us as Dateline BSC TV lifts away speculation and runs down the truth on Blue Shield's journey to wellness. Now, here's your host, Jeff Stalkup. I'm Jeff Stalkup with Dateline BSC TV. Recently, we learned that this health plan, Blue Shield of California, had reported incredible results for 2007 in both membership and income. So would Blue Shield let all this success go to its head? Hardly. In fact, the company is undertaking even more ambitious goals now to keep the heat on the competition. And to help its employees meet the challenge, they're taking a new approach on a not-so-new concept. Our investigation began when we received an anonymous tip from someone inside the company. It seemed that Blue Shield was undertaking a number of unreasonable goals, and it was starting to take its toll. I'd been seeing a number of telltale signs of people working way too hard. Badge records of people coming in early and leaving late. Expense reports with tons of travel. A lot of stressed out people making calls to our employee assistance line due to overwork. Dateline uncovered copies of log files that showed a high volume of emails being sent at all hours of the night. Phone records and transcripts revealed talk of a number of important projects already underway. Dateline discovered that Blue Shield is doing something to address these concerns. Meet Kathy Murphy, the Vice President of HR Operations and a Principal Architect of a new wellness program that will be introduced at Blue Shield in 2008. An image of a healthcare company is one that absolutely embraces and has a, a population that values health of its employees. And what we wanted to create is an exceptional experience but whereby our employees could maximize their individual health potential. Before we can create that with our products and that in the marketplace, we need to experience it here. Marianne Jackson, the Senior Vice President of Human Resources, agrees. We want our employees to be as supported as possible in getting and sustaining their wellness. Holistic wellness, body, mind, and emotional. Alan Sokolow is Blue Shield's chief medical officer. Wellness means different things to different people, and I think that's exactly the point. Um, we have to create programs that address the needs of each individual, no matter what their state of health. We're getting older. We're getting heavier, we're getting more chronic illnesses that are associated typically with obesity. We're just not taking good care of ourselves. Get moving, healthy eating, stop smoking, and emotional well-being are the four key elements to our design. Getting physically fit was the perfect cure for this man. He's Senior Vice President David Joyner, who's in charge of Blue Shield's aggressive agenda to reduce the cost of health care. You may remember him as The David, from the hit BSC TV series, The Apprentice. He told us that the volume and complexity of work was so overwhelming, he was simply unable to keep up. I was going through so many apprentices, I'd honestly lost track. Truth is, I thought I was actually losing my touch. I didn't seem to have it in me anymore. You're, just get back to work. I knew I was fast approaching my breaking point. But now I go down to the Blue Shield Fitness Center and bust my butt for two hours a day, three times a week. I even hired a personal trainer who recently became available. The workouts have made a tremendous difference already. Now, with his exercise regimen in place, the David is back in business. You're fired. You're fired. But Dateline learned that wellness, if done right, would require all employees to make real change. And this includes Blue Shield managers. We're looking for an outcome where employees shift their commitment to healthy lifestyle choices and behaviors. We all know that we need to exercise, not smoke, 
eat healthy, um, but it's, it's not always easy to do, and we need extra pushes sometimes to keep us doing that. Every manager has to understand the importance of their role, how powerful their role is to influence change. Leaders can create rituals that are team, organization, or even individually healthy. Just starting, just taking that first step, is what we're trying to incent people to do, to start to get moving. Get up from your desk, get out, walk around. But there's more to this story. Remember this man? He's Matteo Vianello, recently incarcerated for making health care difficult. He's learned a number of techniques to improve his own mental and emotional well-being. Nothing is a better tonic for stress than having a creative outlet. I find keeping a journal to be so relaxing. They let me exercise a couple of times a day, so you can bet I use it. One time, I took it a little too far, but it was worth it. As of the date of this broadcast, Matteo Vianello's whereabouts remain unknown. Finally, we learned that wellness is not only good for employees, but also for Blue Shield's reputation and the bottom line. Blue Shield's mission is dependent on wellness. Keeping accessibility and affordable health insurance is completely related to how healthy our members are, starting with us. We're a healthcare company. Being well and making health easy is who we need to be. If we believe it's good for our customers, we must especially believe it's good for us. And to the extent that we could do this wellness uh, well, for lack of a better term, uh, it, would, it would just take another step, I think, in solidifying our reputation with, uh, with customers in California. Wellness is more than the next big thing at Blue Shield. In fact, the company is investing hundreds of thousands of dollars into exercise facilities and programs to make it more accessible to everyone. As the company evolves its wellness agenda into 2008 and beyond, we'll start to see a healthier, more aware population, and perhaps even a stronger bottom line. I'm Jeff Stalka for Dateline BSC-TV. Thanks for watching.